What's up everybody, it's Mark again and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. Today I'm doing a gear review, but I'm also doing a little project I think you guys might like. So this company makes a whole bunch of different kinds of lithium ion batteries, but this particular one is a Group 24. It's a 100 amp hour battery. Um, and I've always had this cool idea of putting a trolling motor on my boat Aero Rackham paddleboard. This motor will fit through the hole. So now I just need to figure out a way to create a mount so that this trolling motor can sit right here. So I'm gonna get to work on that. But once I've got that finished, we're gonna take this battery out and uh, we're gonna test it. Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't even go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money. That deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. And I have to do this project so that I can review this awesome product. So this is the Lytime Lithium Ion Battery. So this company makes a whole bunch of different kinds of lithium ion batteries, but this particular one is a Group 24. Um, I can't call it a deep cycle battery because it's lithium ion, but essentially it serves the same purpose as a deep cycle battery. It's a 100 amp hour battery. Um, and I've always had this cool idea of putting a trolling motor on my boat Aero Rackham paddleboard. Um, we actually have two of these. And the really cool thing about this inflatable paddleboard is that it is equipped with a pedal drive, or at least you can buy one for it. It goes right through this hole here and you can pedal this thing and it scoots along. It's super awesome um, and I love it. But one of the things I always find myself wishing is that I could control it while I was standing up and fishing and that I don't have to sit down every time I want to move. So I really like the idea of putting in a trolling motor because I can stand up and steer it while I fish. I just wanted to show you before I get started on this project just how big of a deal it is that this lithium ion battery weighs so much less. So here I have a typical lead acid deep cycle battery. Now this is a group 27 whereas the Lightime one is a group 24. So the 27 is a little bit bigger, so keep that in mind. But I think doing this is gonna show you just how big of a difference we're talking about. I've got a scale here. All right, so this is the lead acid. So that's 50 pounds, okay? And then here, let's do, tear that out. Here's the lithium ion. 20 pounds. We're talking 30 pounds of difference. And when you're on a tiny little boat, like a paddleboard, that makes a huge difference. Not to mention, it's just a hell of a lot easier to carry around. So that's why I'm so excited about this lithium ion battery. And in case you guys didn't know, like these lithium ion batteries have existed for a while, but they've been really expensive. Like I'm talking hundreds, seven, seven, eight hundred dollars sometimes um, for a lithium ion battery uh, for boat applications. These ones are pretty cheap. Um, I'll put the price right here. Granted, they are gonna change over time, um, but a fraction of the cost. Um, so uh, that's really exciting. Um, you guys might wanna do something similar. So anyway, let's, let's get this thing uh, built and uh, take this thing out for a spin. All right guys, so this right here is the uh, pedal drive for the boat. Uh, well, really for any boat um, board that accepts it but in this particular case for the boat Aero Rackham. And as you can see, this plate is basically the mounting feature to mount it through this hole. So all that I need to do to attach the trolling motor is match this plate right here um, and find a way to attach the trolling motor to it. So I've got this piece of um, starboard that I already measured out. It's gonna be the right size to uh, to match up that plate that's on the pedal drive. Um, so now I just need to figure out a way uh, first to get it into that shape. I think I'm just gonna use a jigsaw. And then we gotta figure out a way 
to actually attach the bracket here of the trolling motor onto this. So it's gonna take a little bit of uh, engineering um, and I'm not gonna bore you guys with the process, but I'll show you the end result right now. All right, guys, so this is what I put together. It's pretty simple, but it'll do the trick. So I, like I was saying, I used some of that, um, that starboard that I had laying around and um, cut that into the shape of this, uh, this mount situation. And then I just took a piece of C-channel um, and I had to stack a couple um, washers underneath there just to get that to fit like perfectly so it's sitting right on top of this because this is pretty solid so I wanted that to have good contact there. Um, and then that's tightened onto this. Um, and I basically, you can see here, I cut a channel through here so that I could bring this shaft through the front of it and then bolt this down so it's trapped in there. But if I want to get it out, I could just take these bolts, you can see right here, I could take those out and this whole thing comes out um, and I can use the trolling motor any other way that I want. Um, but when I want to use it in this, if I want to take it out, I can just move these out of the way and I could just pull that thing right out of there. Um, and up in the front here, I, I had this piece of like really heavy duty plastic. Um, I forget what it's called, but it's like people use it for fabricating. I've had it for years. Um, but I used that um, to create sort of this, this little nose piece. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this, this is the cap that comes with it from boat. And you can see this is like that little nose piece. So I had to create something similar to that because I wanted it to work all in the same way. Um, so basically I just shaped this piece of plastic. I bolted it into that C-clamp and that fits right into here. And then you push the rest in and then lock it in place with these. Now there's a little bit of a gap here. And as you can see on the OG version, there's like this little ramp situation here so that these get nice and tight on it. Um, well, my simple solution for that was simply take a couple of pieces of plastic and they slide in there pretty tightly like so. And I'm not worried about those. And then this one here, I made a longer one because I wanted it to actually go all the way across because I left a little gap here so that I can get my finger in there to pull this out. Um, but I don't want water spraying all over the place from there. So this one fits right in there, covers that up. And uh, so, very simple design, but it's definitely gonna work. Um, so I think this is gonna be great. Um, I've got it hooked up to the battery right now. And uh, one thing you also just really need to be careful of when you're, when you're doing this is that um, it is possible for the, uh, the propeller to hit the boat if you're not careful. So uh, I made sure to put it through and measure uh, exactly you know, what the minimum depth is that that i need to have it at so i marked it really clearly with some permanent marker here on this shaft so i know that i cannot run it with that line being higher um, than where it is right now so i'm uh, just going to show you how it works turn it on here there it goes works just fine reverse and it can move in all directions see um, and so i'm going to be able to stand right here and fish and have this sort of between my legs so I can steer and, and uh, drive around while I'm fishing. I think this thing is gonna be awesome for bass and well, really for, for just pitching any kind of lures. Um, my seat will be right here so I can sit down easily. I can drive it while I'm sitting and the battery's just gonna sit right behind me. So I think this thing's gonna be awesome. Um, I'm gonna get it loaded up. We're gonna head out um, and do a little bit of fishing. I'll let you guys know how this whole setup performs but also how this lithium ion battery performs. Let's get after it. You might notice throughout this episode, my paddleboard is gonna change. That's because I'm an idiot. I poked a hole in the other one. So I got a new one. Thanks boat for hooking me up. Seriously, it was crazy. I called them to ask them how I could repair the other one. And instead of helping me repair it, they just said, don't worry, we're gonna send you another one. So buy yourself a boat, customer service is bar none. Anyway, I'm out here. I got my trolling motor set up right here in the middle and we are just cruising. Patricia's over here on her brand new paddle board. And check this out. I'm gonna go, I can go five speed and it, Scoots it is pretty sick, and we're using the 100 amp hour 
um, lie time lithium ion battery. So we've got tons of juice and uh, should be able to fish on this. Probably can cruise for miles on this thing as is. So pretty exciting. This is how maneuverable this boat is because I have a rudder in the back and I have basically a rudder in the front. I can just spin myself in place uh, by just turning the rudder one way and the other one the other side. Now we're straight again, cruising. This is uh, pretty sweet. I think boat should probably come up with some sort of legitimate mount that does exactly this. But in the meantime, this will work. Well, there you have it. Whether you already have a boat paddleboard or you've been thinking about getting one and you're looking for something that is super versatile and can do everything, whether you're just fishing or maybe you're just cruising around with your girlfriend on the water, uh, this thing can do it all. And this combination between a trolling motor and these super cheap and lightweight lifetime lithium ion batteries is just an awesome combo and uh, I'll definitely be using it a lot in the near future. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, make sure you drop them down in the comment section um, and check us out on Instagram at Swamp and Stomp or any of the other social medias. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that now and we'll catch you guys in the next video.